What's up, good people? This is Michael Whitland of M-W Tactical, and we want to talk about dry fire and devices that help with dry fire. So let's talk a little bit about Mantis and what they offer when it comes to dry fire. So let's hear what we got to say about that. All right, so Mantis reached out to me and they sent me this Laser Academy dry firing kit. I didn't know what to expect other than what I saw on the email. So I didn't dig any further. I said I was just gonna wait for it to show up and it showed up. It sat for a couple days because I was traveling around doing a couple matches. So now that I had time to play with it, here we are. So this kit, comes with everything that you need for both traveling and home. It's kind of fun in a way of speaking. All right, so we open up this kit and when you look at it, it looks very simple. So of course you get the travel kit and we're gonna talk about this portion later, but I wanna talk about the other stuff that comes in this box first all right you get a stand that holds your phone that you use to look at the smart targets we're going to talk about this a little bit more in detail as well as far as your travel features you get a pack of stands and we're going to show you how you can use this as well and then you have an array of smart targets and when i say smart targets you can actually activate the program that you want to use from just shooting certain portions of the target. And we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. So this kit is unique in a sense of speaking. All right, so now previously you heard me say the kit comes with everything you need to get your training session going. So. By me being a competition shooter, I do dry fire every day, but it takes place in various rooms throughout my house. So it might be in my living room one day, might be in my dining room the next day, or it could be in my bedroom the following day. So depending on what I want to work on, I have the different rooms set up. But when I travel, I don't have that same option. And when I go to a hotel, I really use like the safety measure on the back of the door as my target when I go ahead and practice that little bit of dry fire. But this kit from Mantis gives me more options as far as getting my dry fire and my repetitions in when I'm traveling as well. Earlier you heard me say they have these smart targets and they are truly smart targets. So one thing I did when I was playing around with it I put up a few targets on the wall and of course if you hit clear and then start it starts the top the countdown so you don't have to go and hit the phone every time you know so that's something that's unique and will help you as far as saving time from walking back and forth and hitting the phone and you have different arrays of targets that you can have so if you decide to go into like the um, heads up mode Whereas you can compete against somebody when you're shooting, so the other person has to have a laser capability um, projectile that goes into the firearm. And we're gonna break it down a little bit more. And you can actually compete against um, each other. So of course, you have two targets of the same, which are start and stop right there. So you hit the clear, hit start, stop, and then one person shoots at this target, one person shoots at this target simultaneously, and it actually saves your score and records your hits and everything like that so you can determine who the winner is. Just another great avenue for training using friendly competition to push you to get better, even that much more. So some of the targets that they have in here, um, if you're an IDPA shooter or if you're interested in getting into IDPA, you can actually practice with the um, various zones. And now also with this app, you can determine the distance you want to shoot at. 
and you just have to measure it out and then on the app you can actually set it as far as how far you want to be um, from the target when you shoot it. But by being a smaller target, you might want to be a little bit closer unless you're going to go to some form of a competition match and you know the target is a little bit further or you just want to push it to the limits and see what you have, you know, as far as your hit factors go. Um, you have B27, which a lot of times when you go to a firing range, you will see a target of this caliber up. Um, they also got um, this B25S target, the body mass target where you can hit it. They have the hostage target, have two of those. And then you have your, your dot torture drill. And this right here is a great tool to use as far as getting people to understand sight picture and sight alignment, All right? So if you know how to do that, this right here might be what a lot of people will be using when it comes to um, draw firing with the Manta system. I know I'm gonna use this more when it comes to the um, Manta system. And then of course, if you're a little bit more advanced and you understand um, where to hit somebody at to make their body go limp, hit the off switch, this is another great learning tool. You have the dartboard. You got two of these also that comes in the pack. And like I said, it's just something you can use as far as friendly competition and you can come up with a point factor. Don't go over a certain point where it forces you to aim at certain areas within the dart, um, dartboard. And then you have um, the hunt. So I can see many different avenues you can use with this one. So you can have a dice or dice with you roll one or two and whatever comes up you have to figure out how to add it up you know something fun like that you know just something different and then you also have your fbi qual so as you can tell all the targets that came with this pack it's <laughs> going to be enough whereas you can train forever and it doesn't have to get boring but for me I have USPSA targets hanging around my house. I have the six inch uh, dinner plates hanging around also to replicate steel targets, round steel targets. And it can get pretty boring at times. But of course the competition is what drives me to keep draw firing. This right here is gonna break up that routine that I have of just pulling out the firearm or just getting complacent with doing the same thing over again. And we're going to show you with a demonstration of how it can benefit you as well. All right, good people. I'm in my living room doing a dry fire session right now. So I'm aiming at some full-size USPSA targets and utilizing my firearm. But the one disadvantage that I have right now is when I pull the firearm out the holster and I go to get set, the only thing I'm not doing is pulling the trigger. So right now I'm just accessing how fast I can get my eyes on the front sight post and get my sight picture acquired. Now, the disadvantage to this session of a draw fire drill is when I come out, how fast can I pull the trigger? All right, so I don't have anything as of yet to effectively record that. But this is where the mantis comes in at as far as me utilizing it for a standpoint to help me with draw fire with competition shooting. All right. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and show you the step-by-step -step play of what it takes to get your Manta system into operation to get your dry fire going. So inside this box, we're gonna go ahead and talk about everything as we get to it, as far as when it gets to that portion of what we're gonna do. So of course, when we open up the box, the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the targetry that we're gonna use, all right? So they have these smart targets. And we're gonna talk about the smart targets a little bit later into this video. But we're gonna go ahead and utilize the start, stop, clear, close target and this bullseye target. So we're just gonna go ahead and figure out where we wanna put them on the wall. So, 
my reasoning for putting the targets up where I put the targets up is the start stop clear close target is simply used to control the app as far as starting it and stopping it whereas I don't have to keep walking to the phone hitting the buttons I place the bullseye target in the middle of the EPSIC target that I'm already using because when I do my dry fire practice I'm aiming for the middle of that so now I'm going to make my shots a little bit more difficult and try to really aim into that center circle, that eight, nine, and 10 zone within that bullseye target. Let's go ahead and we're gonna talk about the tripod, okay? So this tripod is pretty um, unique and it has everything you need. But for some people, this might not be long enough, especially when you get everything um, pulled out. Now, the best part about it is, is when you get the legs pulled out, as you can tell, it covers a large area. So you don't have to worry about it balancing or anything because it is literally a tripod that will hold your cell phone. Now, of course, when you lock this into place, only thing you gotta do is once you expand it, you just gotta turn it, right? Turn it to the right, however high you want it to go. All right, so with this tripod, of course, when you see it, and when you put it on the ground, and if you're looking at me for a reference point, my height is six foot five inches. And look how tall this is. So this is roughly four feet, almost five feet off the ground. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this tripod and I'm going to place it right here closer to the camera so we can actually watch um, what takes place as far as mounting a cell phone onto it. All right. So this is my cell phone. This is a Samsung Note 20 with a carrying case on it. So it's pretty big. So of course, I've already told you before, I'm six foot five and I have big hands. Of course, I like big phones because the smaller phones, it feels like I'm gonna crush it. But this stand right here will hold this up. And this is very unique. So the first thing what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and take this little turn knob on the side and I wanna unscrew it. So as I'm unscrewing it, I'm just gonna go ahead and Pull it out to the point of where it will fit my cell phone. Okay, so once I go ahead and put it in, I'm gonna bring it down to the point where as I think it needs to be at without covering the power button. And then turn the knob down so it kind of locks it in place. Now, the other lock for this um, mounting system, as you wanna call it, is this little lever right here that you want to pull down to loosen this up and push up to tighten it up. So of course where the um, targets are on the wall, depending on how high you have it, you can tilt your cell phone up and down to get that camera because you need to have that camera um, focus on the targets with a little blue square around it. And we're going to show that in this video as well. So as of right now, we're just gonna go ahead and place this right here. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to get your dry fire session going. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. Turn on the cell phone, get the app fired up, and then take the laser for the firearm and calibrate it to the target. So of course, when I'm shooting center mass, I don't want the target, um, the laser to hit someplace else on the target. So. Let's watch this and see what happens. All right, we're back at it. And now we're about to utilize the firearm with the Mantis system overall. So first things first is, Whenever you're doing this at home, make sure that your firearm is clear and there's no ammo around, all right? Next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this laser bullet that came with the Mattis kit and place it into the um, chamber, all right? Then at the same time, I wanna go ahead and just let the slide ride for it. Now, the best thing about this laser being in the firearm is whenever I'm doing something, I can keep charging this back and the laser round does not come out, all right? So I have to use the wooden dial to go ahead and pluck it out. So that's one benefit for it. 
but because I'm shooting a 2011 competition gun, I can go ahead and just keep pulling the hammer back. That will make this useful as far as training, or you can rack it. Your, your choice, so it doesn't matter which way you go with it. The other thing I like to do when I'm doing my draw fire, I like to use a loaded magazine with dummy rounds. No powder, no primer. So it's all dummy rounds in there. And of course, when I put this in, this is doing nothing more than simulating the weight. So when I go out and do competition, I'm not guessing or trying to figure out what the firearm is doing with the loaded magazine versus draw firing without a loaded magazine. So that's one of my little tips. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this in. Next thing I wanna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and start calibrating the system to the laser. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit tutorial laser offset. Hit continue. It detected the targets and in the event that it doesn't, you can move the stand around left or right or whatever the case may be until it reads the targets, okay? So once it tracks the targets, next thing I wanna do is I wanna go up here to settings, all right? Shoot to calibrate. And then you're gonna get like this crosshair circle on the screen. I'm just gonna move this crosshair circle to where I want it to shoot at, which would be center mass of the target. And I think that's close to center right here. I'm gonna hit apply, all right? And then it says, congratulations, now you have set the offset for your laser, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hit start right here. The countdown started. I'm gonna go back to my 12 foot mark, get my firearm together, and then I'm gonna aim, all right? And then it registered eight, all right? So right now, let's just happen to say, that's perfect for me. I did something right, I did something wrong, whatever the case may be. I'm cool with that. So now what I can do is, I can come back here, as we talked about with the smart targets beforehand, all right? So I wanna go ahead and hit clear on the smart target, come back, hit start, stop. I see the countdown started, and then from this moment, I can start this session. All right, so let's say I felt like I went too slow on that one. So I can come back here, hit start, stop again. I cleared it out. Wait for All right, so looking at the shot timer, that last one was a pull of 1.5. And now if I finish, I can go ahead and hit stop. And it should register all the shots that I've done. All right, so that right there is a benefit of how this can help me as far as a competition shooter when it comes to dry fire. Whereas when I'm doing all my dry fire, I can gauge how fast I'm coming out of the holster using a regular shot timer, but the only thing I can't do is see how fast I'm coming out of the holster with finger on the trigger and accessing the target with shot placement. And this is where the Mantis system comes into handy. So give it a try and see how it works out for you. All right, so there you have it with a demonstration of how the Mantis can assist you with dry fire. Regardless if you're a competition shooter or just somebody who carries concealed carry every day. So it can benefit you either which way you look at it. So for me, I use competition as a tool to stay concurrent with my training for when I carry every day. So it's like a double-edged sword for me in the sense of speaking. But one thing we have yet to talk about was the travel kit, all right? So now one thing we did say at the beginning of the video is that the travel kit comes with this little stand. And the little stand is helpful in many different ways because technically when you look at it, you just put the target on the stand and then you just place it wherever you wanna place it. So like if you're in your hotel room, you just put it on that refrigerator or the counter or something like that, or you just got different targets everywhere, all right? So that's one outlet that you can use with that target stand. Now, inside this travel kit, it comes with everything we already talked about on a smaller scale. So you have the little tripod stand and cell phone holder, all right? Also, it comes with a wooden dial. So when you put that laser into your firearm and when you go to charge it back and forth, 
it won't come out. So you just take this wooden dowel, pluck the um, go in from the front end of the barrel, you hit it, laser comes out, right? So when you get this system, it comes with the laser, right? So of course, you know, um, it operates within your firearm. And then the Laser Academy, as we talked about it in the big box, it came with some targets, so that's eight and a half by 11. But now you get these little targets as well. The same thing that was in the big targets, you get in the little targets, all right? And then also you get some sticky tack. So for my demonstration, I was using um, painter's tape on the back of the targets. But this sticky tack works just as well as that um, painter's tape. So I'm just gonna utilize this for when I travel instead of just taking that painter's tape with me everywhere because it fits conveniently inside this little kit. So technically, if you travel a lot, this kit might be the way to go if you wanna stay current with your dry fire. Or if you just wanna go ahead and take the whole system with you, you can do that as well. So I see the benefits of using this system when it comes to dry fire. The only downside to it is, is when you go to fire it, you just gotta keep charging the, um, the firearm. Or if you got a hammer system, pulling that hammer back on the backside of it. That's the only downside I see to it, but everything else is a benefit. So if anything, go out, get a Manus. If you have a Manus, tell me in the comments below what you think about it with your experience and how it has it helped you. I'm curious to know, and let's get a conversation going. For those of you who want to reach out to me, please look me up on Facebook, M-W Tactical, or go to Instagram at M underscore W Tactical, and let's get a conversation going revolved around training and this Mantis system. So until next time, keep shooting, keep practicing, and have fun. Y'all take care now.